Sir, yes, please. Yes, sir. Good morning. Uh, we cannot change the direction of the wind, but we can adjust my sails, our sails, to always reach our destination. So, with this saying, and uh, we are here to know more about the online degree courses, uh, diploma courses, or uh, certificate courses as per UGC regulation 2018 by our eminent uh, uh, guest speaker by Dr. Gopal Krishna Raju. Now, I invite uh, Dr. E. Rama, head of the Department of Commerce, to give his uh, welcome address. Good morning to one and all present here for the webinar titled Dawn of a New Era online degree diploma certificate courses or programs as per UGC regulations 2018. Hope this subject will be armed for the prevailing pandemic situation. Sometimes challenges and struggles are exactly what we need in our lives. We should strive to welcome change and challenges because they are the ones which help us grow. Without them, we grow weak in comfort and security. We need to constantly be challenging ourselves in order to strengthen our character and increase our intelligence. At the outset, I thank Almighty and my parents for giving me this day and opportunity to conduct this program. I wish to extend a warm and hearty welcome to our regional joint director, Velu Region, Dr. Erlen Sir, and thank him for his concern to take part in this program. Welcome you, sir. We are honored by your presence. Thank you very much, sir. I'm happy to welcome our principal, Dr. Chidubara Vinayagam, who is the guiding force and support behind all our actions. We welcome you, sir. On behalf of the PG Department of Commerce, Rajeshwari Vedachalam Government Arts College, Chengalpet, I warmly welcome our guest for this webinar, CA Dr. Gopal Krishna Raju, a practicing chartered accountant, registered insolvency professional, registered valuer, author of books, member of various institutes and board of studies, a versatile speaker, and above all, a person who is actively conducting many such webinars during this period of crisis. Thank you very much, sir, for accepting our humble invitation to conduct this webinar. Hearty welcome to you, sir. At this point, I would like to thank Dr. J. Srinivasan, Associate Professor of our department, who has meticulously made arrangements for this program and fixed a multifaceted guest for this program. He will introduce the guest to the participant. Thank you, J. Srinivasan, sir. Once again, on behalf of our college, our principal and staff of our department, I welcome all the participants to this webinar. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Uh, now it is my bounded duty to introduce our chief guest of, for this webinar, uh, CA Dr. Gopala Krishna Raju, popularly known as Dr. GKR, is a practicing chartered accountant, registered insolvency professional, and a registered valuer from Chennai. Uh, Dr. GKR is a tax assurance and a re restructuring partner of Mrs. K. Gopal Rao and Company. And uh, uh, GKR hails from a family of chartered accountants. His father, mother, younger brother, and a wife all are practicing chartered accountants. Oh. GKR served as Southern India Regional Council member of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India for consecutive three terms of nine years from 2010 to 19. Dr. GKR has been recently awarded honorary doctorate in governance of GST in government sector by St. Mother's Teresa University, Melbourne, Australia. He is in the Independent Directors Data Bank and have qualified with the distinction the online proficiency self-assessment test conducted by Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs. And other qualifications is uh, Associate Member of the Institute of Cost Accountants of India and Associate Member of the Institute of Company Secretaries of India 
qualified valuation examination of insolvency and bankruptcy board of india and uh, uh, he got his uh, mphil in management from tamil nadu open university dr gk has, uh, has authored two books first one standard costing and variance analysis for professional students and the second one first lessons in information technology for cs students with the two editions by snow white publishers mumbai and dr gk is a seasoned speaker on information technology finance and taxation and a visiting faculty for numerous institutions corporates and business schools dr gk r is the member of institute of directors bombay uh, chartered accountant society madras management association and a life member of the society of auditors the chartered accountant study circle and an active rotarian and he is uh, he has been nominated as member of the academic board various academic boards in the city colleges for example uh, lalwa college autonomous chennai dg vaishnava college sdnp uh, vaishnava college for women sibet college chennai new college gurunana college and he is actively participating in various academic activities in the development of our framing of a new celebi or curriculum uh, for commerce a passionate writer on technology and taxation in numerous journals and newspapers columnist in tamil daily the hindu tamil and weekly tamil magazine nonaya vegadan and pudhiya thalai murai kalvi and he is regularly appearing uh, appearing in numerous tv channels and tamil fm radios in odikai jaya tv nadu kaveri news and fm rainbow as a versatile speaker dr gkr have addressed more than 400 plus meetings on gst in various forums including professional bodies chamber of commerce industry trade associations in both english as well as in tamil so this is a uh, uh, detailed uh, um, profile of our uh, chief guest today and he is going to talk about the topic uh, of online degree courses diploma courses and um, certificate courses as per the ugc regulation 2018 now before inviting our chief guest may i invite dr g edilan regional joint director of vellu to give uh, felicitation address yes thank you yes sir. the most respected principal honorable chief guests faculty members research scholars and my dear students good morning to all we are living in a new normal situation that is covid 19 pandemic but still sharing of knowledge is inevitable is it audible sir teaching yes sir yes sir you can proceed sir uh, teaching and learning process should continue forever Rajeshwari Vedachalam Government Arts College was established in the year 1970. The main objective of this college is to cater to the needs of underprivileged and downtrodden students from villages in and around of Chengalpet. It's a grade one college situated in a semi-urban area. The college has been offering 12 UG programs, seven PG programs, four MPhil programs, and five departments offer phd programs also the vision of the college is uh, clarity of learning and the mission is to provide higher education students from rural economically weaker sections and to make them employable i am happy that my friend and colleague dr s sirambaravanayagam principal is a principal is a great source of inspiration for this kind of academic activities in this college i hope he will continue this journey he is a democratic leader he will get the thing done in a proper manner with the support of his faculties the chief guest dr gkr is a well known person in tamil nadu when i heard about his profile that whole family is doing 
chartered accountant practice it's a remarkable one really it's a news to me no doubt that his family members are in the same field really it's a good and his contribution towards the commerce and other aspects is uh, commendable really it's a great pleasure to have you sir and also the webinar as a good academic and a practical exposure is a uh, good academic uh, as well as practical exposure in the fields of gst higher education and online courses etc the pg and research department of commerce has been functioning well under the able leadership of uh, dr e rama head of the department of commerce with the support of dr j srinivasan associate professor dr srinivasan is not only supporting the own college but also he supports various colleges in tamil nadu everyone in the commerce department is uh, uh, inviting him for the webinar uh, classes and also he voluntarily help uh, various colleges for conducting this kind of uh, programs at the pandemic situation really it's a remarkable and uh, wonderful one i appreciate his uh, performance not only now from his uh, student uh, life also since his student life he is uh, he has been doing the same thing till today i think he will uh, once uh, i think he may be he may become as uh, somewhat in higher position in the university and the ugc level i uh, congratulate dr j srinivasan head of the department dr e rama and the principal dr chidambaram nayagam and he is a eminent uh, professor in chemistry uh, when i were working in uh, tirupur college Uh, students were appreciating dr chidambaram nayagam's approach as well as his teaching he has the uh, depth knowledge in uh, chemistry and he also very human approachable personality very calm and polite the topic chosen for today's webinar is online degree diploma certificate courses or programs as per ugc regulations 2018 it's a need of the ever because the Higher education also, the director of school, sorry, college of education also has advised the all government colleges to admit the students only through online from Monday onwards. That is 20th July 2020. So you are uh, selecting the op topic for the audience. Uh, the honourable chief guest going to enlighten the, the needs of online degree. Hereafter, we are going to do. Uh, uh, learn everything through online now the example is to conduct the webinar through online also it is uh, the lesson to everyone to not to move from one place to another to have uh, everything from their own place which is uh, very convenient to us also so that the uh, chief guest will uh, give uh, clear information about this topic higher educational institutions offering online programs shall provide adequate support for advising counseling mentoring and guidance so as to ensure the best possible learning experience for the learners and there shall be a clear guideline on academic integrity and a netiquette that is internet etiquette expectations regarding lesson activities group discussions chats and plagiarisms it's my privilege to wish the organizers guest speaker and participants of this webinar thank you all the best congratulation thank you one and all yes sir thank you very much sir thank you sir thank you for uh, giving your uh, valuable address and support uh, to our academic endeavors academic activities may now i invite our uh, college principal dr h chidambara vinayakam to give uh, his uh, felicitation address Yes, sir. Sir, our Ulla Varasu Lange. Principal, sir. Sir. Principal, sir, Ulla Varasu Lange. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
sir yes sir yes come yes sir may i request our principal dr s chidambara vinayagam sir to give his felicitation address sir unmute panikenga he is on mute sir sir unmute unmute okay ipa kekuda yes sir okay okay yes sir i request our principal dr s chidambara vinayagam sir to give his felicitation address அதுக்கப்புறம் Okay, sir. Ah, I'm about. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, I first of all thank the most respected Dr. G. Elilan, Joint Director of College of Education, Vellu Region. Uh, he is one of the uh, colleagues for me from the uh, 1990 to 1992 in Tirupur Chikanna Government Arts College. He is a very nice person. and he is uh, nice at the heart also he is a uh, his classes uh, people uh, students will welcome his classes so he is very nice person i uh, i i invite the dr g elilan for this webinar yesterday only i spoke to him he appreciated this webinar and he asked to conduct that one and he joined this webinar so thank you sir thank you very much for this webinar and i uh, invite the resource person of today's program ca dr kobal krishna raju welcome sir uh, and i uh, invite uh, dr e rama hod of commerce and convener and and uh, dr uh, j srinivasan coordinator of this uh, webinar and faculty members of this commerce department uh, professor v kodiyarasi dr v murugan dr tanabalan a tanabalan dr r jagannathan dr p ravichandran and faculty members of other departments this is scholars and my dear students good morning to one and all dr abg abdul kalam says man needs difficulties in life because they are necessary to enjoy the success and he also says excellence happens not by accident it is a process first of all let me congratulate the organizers and participants of this webinar it is a great pleasure to be a part of this webinar we are virtually gathered here to know more about the online degree diploma certificate courses or programs as per ugc guidelines 2018 i am sure that the speaker ca dr g kobal krishna raju will provide valuable inputs about this topic i appreciate the efforts taken by the pg and research department of farmers of our college in conducting this webinar i hope the department will continue to conduct the webinars of this kind online course or programs is delivered through online mode leading to award of a certificate or diploma or degree by an approved higher education institutions it includes e text materials video lectures audio video interactive materials virtual classroom sessions and self assessment quizzes or test let us look forward to your knowledge enriching session and once again i thank you dr g elilan joint director of college of education vellu region to join this webinar thank you sir thank you for your presence 
and uh, I thank uh, Dr. E. Rama, HOD and convener, Dr. J. Srinivasan, coordinator. He is also very helping one in the college. He acts as a UGC coordinator and all kind of activities. He is a very knowledgeable person. So he is very happy to involve in this webinar. So thank you, thank you, one and all. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you, one and all. Thank you. Okay, sir. Right, sir. At the outset, uh, let me thank RV Government Arts College, uh, Chengalpattu, and especially uh, principal of uh, the college, Dr. Chidambara Vinayagam. His chemistry with the subject uh, not only goes well, but also in organizing, uh, uh, being the head of the organizing uh, committee of this particular program. Dr. E. Rama, HOD and convener, and uh, the man behind this show, Dr. J. Srinivasan, coordinator of uh, this program. Uh, my sincere appreciation uh, to Dr. J. Srinivasan for uh, giving this wonderful opportunity uh, for me to uh, share my thoughts on, especially on uh, the online uh, courses. And I must uh, definitely place on record and appreciate uh, the virtual presence of uh, Dr. G. Edilan, the Regional Joint Director of uh, Vellur. Sir, thank you uh, very much for uh, being part of uh, today's program. And uh, especially uh, your words uh, has definitely inspired me to uh, uh, do more uh, activity, especially uh, on academic front. And today's topic is going to be very, very different uh, for one reason because the topic is uh, the dawn of new era full-time online degree courses especially with respect to ugc online courses or program regulation 2018 and uh, i'm going to share with you a lot of developments that has taken place especially the past two years and uh, the development has taken place right from 2016 onwards i repeat uh, 2016 onwards uh, the central government has uh, paved the path for uh, online degree courses. So let me now take you one by one, one by one. Recently, yes, on 11th of June 2020, one month back, uh, India Rankings 2020 was released by Honorable Minister of HRD, Sri Ramesh Pokhrial Nishank. And uh, this is the link uh, where you can go and see the overall uh, NIR ranking, university-wise ranking, engineering colleges ranking, management educational institution ranking, pharmacy institutions ranking, dental, architecture, medical, law, and uh, arts colleges ranking is there. Based on this above five parameters they have done. Now, why I'm mentioning this particular point, as and when I go into this topic, you will actually understand. The days are not far off. The days are not far off where we don't need a very big, big... Uh, places, uh, whether central universities or private universities or deemed universities. This is the number of universities as on 1st of February 2020. There are 935 universities as of uh, date on 1, 1, 2020. Out of the 349 are private, 127 are deemed, 409 are state universities and 50 central universities. One in Tamil Nadu near Pondicherry. Pondicherry University is a central university. 37,204 colleges. 11,443 standalone institutions are there. You'll be surprised. There are even fake universities like a fake SBA. We just know a uh, uh, few days back, uh, it was in news. Uh, fake universities are also there. Please be careful, especially many students are also online today. That This is the list of the fake universities as of now, uh, which is available and visible and uh, recorded. Maybe a complaint has been uh, received now. I want to just share with you uh, the first uh, step, of uh, the baby step, which was taken in 2016 by University Grants Commission by bringing out a regulation in 2016 called UGC Credit Framework for Online Learning Courses through Swayam. And what is Swayam? Swayam is actually a, 
an acronym of study web of active learning by young and aspiring minds and this is the indian version the desi version of online learning four years back july 2016 guys we are on 17th of uh, july and exactly four years back in another two years uh, two days we are going to celebrate the fourth anniversary of swayam this is the indian desi version of online learning being launched uh, uh, on an indigenous platform meaning indian platform there is no foreign apps there is no foreign platforms the desi platform where uh, credit framework was also introduced meaning parallelly people can uh, when i was a student maybe even uh, joint director regional joint director dr g eilan also will agree with me when we were all students uh, we didn't had an opportunity to do parallel courses you can only do one courses today parallel courses are possible and 2016 government of india has brought this that if you do a course in swayam universities and colleges can give credit can give credit eh? but uh, fortunately very few institutions have come forward uh, and they are giving credit courses uh, regional joint director principals and also the parents and also the teachers and even students they must very clearly make one point very clear why institutions are not joining forward with uh, government of india ministry of charity those who are not giving credit for the swine courses and uh, this is number one point i want to share with you because the momentum the momentum that was started in 2016 today because of covid 19 it has reached the peak i will say it has reached the peak uh, one by one i will unravel one by one now please look at this this is the statistics of swine 1600 plus courses are there which is an online course both credit and non credit courses credit which have been please look at this 92 universities out of 935 universities only 10% 92 universities have come forward and accepting credit transfer for courses done through platforms almost close to 40 lakh people have 40 lakh students various categories including uh, what do you say the homemakers the housewife homemakers uh, youngsters and uh, those who have left to colleges and those who are uh, working women working men and uh, even senior citizens they are all forming part of this 40 lakh uh, learners this is uh, till 31 12 number and today as of uh, 31 3 2020 the numbers have crossed 60 lakhs i must say 60 lakhs that is the number and 1600 courses and uh, hardly 60000 persons only have completed the course this is also and another alarming uh, number which i want to share with with you good now i want to make uh, this is the people who have uh, been part of that students teachers professionals senior citizens housewives etc good now i want to make one point very clear which is uh, from regulation number 6 of ugc credit framework for online learning courses through swayam where it says for the mooc for the mooc what is a mooc i am sure all of you know what it is it is massive open online course why massive there is no limit there is no seat limit uh, where some of the colleges will say uh, 30 seats only available 80 seats only available 200 seats only available it's not so it's massive it's open so massive open online courses the parent institution shall give the equivalent credit weightage to students for the credits earned uh, so that they need not actually write that examination here because they have already been tested by ministry of hrt government of india no university shall refuse any student for credit mobility for the courses earned through mooc this is a uh, another important point i want to share and uh, does it cost to uh, do online course through swayam no only if you want a certificate you have to pay the certificate charges now coming for the university grants commission online courses good there was a very good the platform that was developed by swayam i agree but uh, it is not sufficient it was not sufficient and uh, it was only a part time course it was not a full time course and it was only a moduled courses for example four week course six week course uh, 12 week course uh, there are courses uh, which are 15 weeks course direct taxes courses are there 15 weeks course gst courses are there 12 week course i'll give the link of all those courses at the end now 
these are all moduled courses i want to become a, today uh, dr edilan and dr chidambara vinayaka was mentioning about uh, everything online application form online admission will be given online payment of fees online through a bank attendance ends for the when the uh, college reopens uh, the attendance will be online learning will be online classes will be online test will be online doing research will be online i believe exam also will be proctored online and already the university grants commission has given uh, the protocol what do you call it as the standard operating procedures for uh, conducting online classes and how many maximum students should be there on an online class etc and they cannot mute themselves uh, their voice they can mute but video they cannot mute uh. so in a classroom if a teacher is standing he can he or she can see 40 50 students uh, the same uh, i can also visually see but i was also i am also a teacher i always prefer to actually use the blackboard and the chalk piece and i am i contact and connect with my students that actually gives me the comfort and who is actually listening here i am actually uh, speaking as though i am speaking to a wall i'll be speaking but nevertheless there are the plus points are also there minus points are also there the minus points uh, are also there today in uh, the regular courses how many i will tell you there are minus points plus points even in the online courses so keeping everything in mind that uh, today ultimately maybe there should be a debate like niya nana debate uh, we must have a debate saying this side online courses people must speak that line that side uh, no no i want to go to college and i only enjoy the college three years life from this year onwards that the college life and all will be gone they have to only sit along with their parents and uh, attend their college they cannot meet their uh, friends there they cannot actually roam around uh, they cannot see uh, colorful uh, people there nothing is possible they have to sit and then learn if that is the scenario should they have to go and get admitted in the local city colleges not required they can choose the best they can choose the best in the city best in the uh, state why not best in the state best in the country why not best in the country best in the world best in the world that is where the challenges are there today for the institutions i repeat the challenges are there today for the institutions challenges are there today for the uh, the teachers the teaching community very big challenge i repeat very big challenge now keeping this in mind uh, madam sita raman honorable finance minister in her budget speech 2020 has announced has announced 99300 crores fund allocation only for full fledged online degree programs i repeat full fledged online degree programs very very important guys very important now this will be fund will be allocated for both the institutions and the students technology connectivity development of uh, course material everything i repeat everything and who can deliver only the top 100 in the nirf ranking framework only the top 100 and i must make one point very clear to all of you guys that last year because this ugc course online courses or program regulation it has come in 2018 and in 2019 itself seven higher education institutions has been granted recognition to offer degree diploma certificate course via online mode via online mode and which are those institutions from delhi two institutions one is amit university noida another is indira gandhi national open university you know from tamil nadu there is one which is shanmuga arts science technology and research academy shastra and from pune two institutions one is bharti vidyapeeth and another is dr dy patil vidyapeeth two and another one from mysuru jss academy of higher education and research and these are all uh, the institution that has been granted recognition by ugc and these are only seven and this year they want to make the number 100 so therefore parallelly you will have the physical courses as well as online courses today what is happening physical courses physical seat but you don't come to college i will only teach you through online then what is it it is only online course only so therefore students what will happen this year there will be a dilemma very important i am today rather than addressing uh, this forum for uh, the 
uh, teachers or uh, the parents must actually understand that their kids must get the best education. I repeat, the kids must get the best education where the online faculty is today. The moment it is online, the best of the best faculties we can rope in and all institutions must henceforth uh, think of bringing the best faculties as a what do you call it as a visiting faculties and guest faculties so that the image the quality of education will go up students will prefer to actually log into that particular uh, it is otherwise that thing have gone where uh, uh, education uh, the institution used to claim uh, today it is reverse it is the market uh, driven the students will drive which institution will be the best the total uh, uh, scenario has totally changed this year and uh, slowly that recognition slowly that realization will convert to going and joining for an online education despite the minus points despite the various minus points are there number one challenge is for the faculties number two challenge is for the students also they in the name of education they will get connected and some nonsense only they will be uh, seeing so now the point here is how to make this uh, online education the best and what are all the protocols that has been coming, how it has to make it. So this is what I'm going to now address the next few very, very important. Okay. Why online education will be the best, how it is going to be the best. Now, please download this UGC online courses or program regulation 2018, which has hardly, I repeat, which has hardly 10, only 10 uh, regulations and one annexures. This annexure says that faculty and staff requirement for running online programs must be there. Now, there are uh, number one query that was actually put to me some time back uh, that because of online courses, whether the job employment, uh, the job opportunities or the employment opportunities with respect to the uh, teaching faculty, will it dwindle? Answer is no. It will actually multiply. When computers was not there, only when online accounting was there, computer accounting came. Does the uh, accountants lost a job? No, people converted, people converted and learned on what you call as the digital accounting. And today the digital accountants are in great demand, great demand. The same is the case. Uh, today there was a mathematics teacher who asked me one question. All of this is fine, Mr. Raju. How can I teach mathematics? Uh, the integral, the d by dx, the calculus, trigonometry, sine theta by cos theta is tan theta. How I will put it? How will I, I type it? I said there are uh, there are tools available. There are tools available which uh, where uh, the mathematical symbols can be actually be, even in word it is there. But you have the advanced tools of mathematical softwares where only thing that is required is as teachers we need to actually learn how to use that tools which actually will take some time and institutions like this uh, the rjd Vellur, dr j Eridan, and uh, the principal dr chidambara vinayagam and as a team you must actually take initiative to actually uh, uh, empower the teachers empower continuous learning it is not students who have to learn now it is teachers who have to learn i repeat it is teachers who have to upgrade themselves, upgrade with respect to their technological skills, how technology can be converted into the most best way of uh, teaching and uh, the dissecting the information, which is actually a skill, which is actually difficult, which is actually will take a lot of time. But nevertheless, this is the order of the day. It has to be done. I repeat, it has to be done. Now I'll share with you some of the interesting points. Number one, number one point which I want to share with you is these regulations lays the minimum standards only uh, for grant of certificate, diploma or degree through online mode. So they, you can actually design these certificate course, diploma course and degree courses through online mode delivered through interactive technology using internet, using internet. Now one by one, I'll try to share with you. What is it? So the first point, this regulations gives minimum standard. Now, what is ICT? Here they say delivered through interactive technology. Now, what is called inter information communication technology? Meaning, you have to use laptop, you have to use connectivity, connection, uh, the internet connection, content, the PowerPoint, uh, material, PDF, resources from where you have connected, forums for discussion, for chat, uh, 
everything is online everything is online so today uh, there are institutions where there is no paper peers even students they take their notes in pads so to that extent uh, the technology has developed across the globe uh, only in our country uh, we are uh, maybe a majority majority places still the conventional model of uh, learning we have been following but uh, i will say thanks to covid 19 i will say thanks to covid 19 it has actually taught us a lesson that uh, it is not only online it is not only regular mode uh, but also you must also be good in online mode my view at the end i will tell you what is my view with respect to online courses or program that uh, i am sure everybody will uh, uh, agree with me good this is the second point i want to share it with all of you now if you want to give uh, the online uh, degree diploma or certificate courses it has to be four quadrant approach now what do you mean by four quadrant approach quadrant one is e tutorial already swayam is giving quadrant one video lectures are available what is quadrant one e tutorial video lectures and audio content animation simulation virtual lab all this is quadrant one this is one way in which you actually uh, disseminate knowledge what is the second one specially prepared study material specially prepared study material which you can download take print out make a spiral book and then read i believe reading as pdf in soft copy may not help us but keeping it in paper form using pen pencil highlighter yellow color and then painting it in my book that only will give me the comfort satisfaction understanding i'll get a grip on the subject quadrant 2 e content that shall contain pdf e books illustration video documents demonstrations documents interactive simulations all these are the second one swayam has this this one third the self assessment which is called the web resources shall the web resources shall contain the <coughs> related links case studies open content on internet which you can download it and read or directly you can read the articles on that everything will be available and uh, online discussion for clearing doubts that is quadrant 4 mcq problem quizzes assignments discussion forum topic like a chat box uh, where uh, the students can actually put queries and then you can actually answer everything is there so that is the four quadrant approach and this four quadrant approach is there in the regulation both in 2016 regulation as well as in 2018 regulation and that is what uh, has to be developed i repeat has to be developed for example video lectures video lectures can be both online live this is actually live this is actually live lecture what i am what i am delivering and how many people are there 141 people are there live and uh, after this live is over there will be q and a and after that uh, when we uh, log out uh, this entire video will be available in youtube you can go the same uh, link you can come again and you can see so video and audio content animation of course here there is no animation it is a live one pdf document now whatever i am showing here these powerpoints uh, this is actually in pdf i can share this in my blog i can share this and my blog address i'll give at the end it is 3spro.blogspot.com you can go there and click and download this particular content it is available web resources i will be giving lot of web resources please look here this is one of the web resources introduction to gst this is one uh, 12 week course which is introduced by swayam.gov.in you can click this and uh, you can join this particular course free of cost no charges similarly direct access law and practice this is one course which is offered under management and commerce uh, curriculum which is offered by swayam.gov.in no fee free of cost uh, click it learn now uh, why students are not uh, going to swayam.com number one they have not been uh, aware about this second uh, learning parallelly from swayam will give you a comfort and second third most advantage if you write an examination you are you your institution will give credit for this i repeat will give credit my request to regional joint director vellu dr g edilan is under your district how many in how many colleges are there how many colleges have not given credit for the swayam uh, courses offered 1600 swayam courses offered by ministry of uh, human resource development government of india please take a statistics and give a direction give a direction to all these institution you must give credit 
and uh, make this point to all the students yes parallelly you must do this multiple courses learn and bring credits 10 credits 20 credits uh, and institutions also should institute awards those who cross 10 credits uh, will be given cash award will be given uh, this award that award then only that will be an inspiration for the students also to do these things has to be done and these things are given free of cost by government of india so that is the thing which we need to as responsible government officials as responsible teachers as responsible uh, the teaching fraternity we have to bring this uh, information to the student community good now coming to uh, the quadrant uh, approach uh, i am coming for the most important aspect i will say the most important aspect this is uh, regulation 44 this is regulation 44 i think with this point uh, you will get a very fair idea you will get a very very fair idea that online courses doesn't come uh, with uh, glitches doesn't come with uh, certain impediments of course you know what is the only impediment number one you must have one uh, what do you call it as uh, a tool a tool like a laptop like a desktop like actually a, a pad so that is one tool that is required today all the state governments you take the example of tamil nadu government tamil nadu government is giving laptops to all the school children madi kanini valangapadigirathu ovvoru government kulandigalukkum government palliyil padikkum ovvoru kulandikkum madi kanini valangapadigirathu free of cost for what purpose for what purpose they have to go and sell that madikanini no that madikanini that laptop has to be utilized now please look at that is number 1 number 2 what is smart city project what is smart city project smart city project is to bring the cleanliness environment friendly greenery and also to bring the wifi connectivity i bring, i believe I, i again make this point very clear to bring wifi connectivity now what is wifi connectivity this is what is most important two things are important one is you need a you need a device and this device is given by government and number two the connectivity that is also given by government and the swim free of cost so what is there for uh, youngsters youngsters have to actually utilize it properly please look at this four points very important especially those institutions the 100 institutions who have to actually come forward for giving online education what they have to do number one they should have access for to swayam so everybody who have to give online uh, education online course through swayam only they can do it this is number one number one that means the gateway for online education the gateway for online education is swayam or i repeat or you must have a parallel gateway similar to swayam like how swayam what is a swayam swayam is a portal and in that portal it is actually a cloud in that cloud you put all the data of uh, the e content uh, the video lectures audio content and uh, you can also connect it for uh, online webinars sessions uh, your uh, resources everything is available in that portal in that cloud students 24 by 7 can connect to it now if your institution doesn't have that infrastructure but you have the best nir of rating i repeat the best nir of rating what was the nir of rating that is minimum required that is the nac requirement is 3.26 which they have reduced it now which they have reduced it by making an amendment it is not 3.26 they have brought it below 3.05 the number exact number i am not uh, aware but they have brought it down by 20 points it is 3.06 if i am my memory is correct so they have brought this that means many institutions can now come under this uh, uh, criteria so one learner authentication now i want to become a student and uh, dr j srinivasan wants to become a student everybody can be a student yes it is possible provided i have an other 1000 130 crore population are there in india 122 crore population have aadhar 12 digit aadhar is there integrated with aadhar or other government recognized identity for indian students and passport for foreign students this is the fundamental criteria so what they need to be they need to have an identity second learner registration 
so they need to go and fill up uh, their content their information name father's name date of birth address etc etc id proof uploading everything photo uploading create one registration id that is very important so through a web application with supporting documentation three payment gateway normally swayam is free of cost but if it is uh, other institutions they have to actually collect fees no cash i repeat no cash not even 1 rupee can be received by cash if it is an online course because right from application admission payment of fees attendance learning classes test research everything is online everything is online including payment so all the concept of uh, cash payments everything gone already many institutions have graduated to the the digital payment so the online courses uh, makes it mandatory that every bit of payment has to be only through online lms remember guys lms is mandatory for example my institution my institution government institutions very important very important swayam is a platform developed by swayam is a platform developed by government of india ministry of hrd here in tamil nadu tamil nadu higher education department tamil nadu school education department why can't they come out with a equivalent of swayam in tamil medium in tamil medium especially a portal having all the facilities online i believe the developments are happening but uh, parallelly it should have been uh, implemented thereby today it will be much 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 better for both the school education uh, as well as for the higher education uh, directorate and school education directorate to integrate schools to integrate the government uh, colleges directly into the online mode because for an online mode portal is must i repeat for an online mode portal is must today what is a portal you can take only swayam you don't have a a portal similar to swayam now please look at the fourth one very important with the ability to conduct examination either using technology enabled online test with all the security arrangement ensuring transparency and credibility of the examination or through proctored exam now two things i will tell you about examination what do you mean by proctored exam now you have this laptop on la top of the laptop you have a webcam and webcam light will be uh, glowing there will be green color there meaning people that side can actually see me that actually they can see me so similarly i can take an exam online where the questions will come and i will actually type the click the right answer i cannot turn this side and that side and the people the uh, <coughs> online that side will be actually seeing me that's called a proctored examination and or either you do the proctored examination or conduct examination using technology enabled online test meaning multiple choice questions will be there in the data bank the students have to come to the center and uh, at the particular designated time given a particular terminal go there login uh, write the examination it is not writing it is clicking the examination where from the data bank a selective questions will be pulled as a list he has to select the right answer with all security arrangements ensuring transparency and credibility so this is uh, the two types of testing that can be done already it has been happening for higher education many of the higher education this has been happening only thing is we have to downgrade that concept to a post graduate examination to a graduate examination across the world across the world countries like australia countries like united kingdom countries like canada countries some of the states of united states of america they are already conducting online examinations only for even undergraduate and post graduate courses so all this have been happening already only thing is it is now becoming a reality that because of covid 19 we have to mature mandatorily to that particular platform and that particular platform has already been laid down in 2018 itself for smooth transition for smooth transition good now last but not the least we have the last 5 minutes sir i'll only take few more points especially regulation 8 okay especially regulation 
now there has been a concern also what is that concern number one the moment this uh, program has been designed the, pro the curriculum has been designed will it be the same curriculum throughout the i know some of the institutions uh, they have their curriculum for about five years six years they don't change that at all they don't change it that at all but in online courses there is a possibility mandatory mandatory please look at this commission shall periodically at any commission refers to ugc based on the information we review the performance of higher education institutions offering online courses one of that is there shall be renewal of approval every second year to conduct the course through an online course renewal of the approval every second year with respect to the ugc ugc giving the what do you call it as the approval the renewal will be done every two years now the point here is the institution which is offering online course they have to upgrade themselves now i will just share with you the first five criteria based on which uh, the uh, parameters based on which nir of ranking has been given please look at this five parameters teaching learning and resources research and professional practice graduation outcome outreach and inclusivity peer perception these are all the five parameters based on which all these institutions has been ranked all over india maybe i'll take only one please look at uh, what is meant by the outreach and inclusivity what do you mean by outreach and inclusivity no 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 i will only take uh, those students who are above 85 above 90 above 95 then you are not outreaching you are not inclusive institution so percentage of students from other states percentage of women economically socially challenged students facilities of physically challenged students so all this perception ranking all those so that means your student mix should be a mix of all this and what is the minimum percentage for women diverse women empowered children you are giving admission and economically challenged students socially challenged students because their marks will be less. Remember, reason one, they are economically challenged. So, what is the mix of that? All this will actually create a, a ranking. So, it all, it all depends on all these factors. And uh, uh, friends, not only this, teaching and learning resources. What are all the upgraded teaching and learning resources? How the faculty members have been upgraded? What are all the research outcomes? Uh, and... Uh, what is the percentage of graduate uh, those who get outcome uh, from the first uh, batch itself or through repeaters uh, all these factors are very very important it is not an ordinary uh, today running a school running a college is not an ordinary task it's a very big challenge it's a very big challenge but despite all this there are many institutions who are able to come up it is only because of the systems in practice and they are very very strong in their systems and their only objective the only objective is education and quality education if that is the objective all these parameters can be automatically be covered automatically be covered and uh, i don't want to uh, just uh, list out as many points as possible here i'll just share with you another one more point they will go through the performance of the institution assess the outcome of the online program and shall give approval for renewal through an online process within the time period. So even the approval given to the 100 institutions will be online only. And uh, unless otherwise they upgrade their courses every year. So upgradation of the courses has to be mandatorily every year. Then only they will be latest. So every batch will be latest. Every batch will be latest. So guys, uh, with this, uh, I must thank each and every one of you. This is... Uh, a uh, few of the sites i want to give as many links as possible but uh, thank you very much and this is the blog address which uh, you can actually if you can just click this it will take you to the respective blog this is the particular blog uh, where uh, i will actually upload uh, my content uh, maybe in another one hour at one hour time you can go and download it and most important uh, point i want to share with all of you is very important guys uh, this session, uh, this particular uh, uh, session uh, has been very well uh, coordinated by Dr. J. Srinivasan. I must thank him. And uh, his uh, efforts uh, are highly laudable. 
and the entire team of uh, behind uh, Dr. J. Srinivasan, HOD Dr. Uh, uh, Rema Madam, and uh, RJD uh, Velur, who has been uh, throughout uh, the session uh, supporting the initiatives of uh, RV Government Arts College and uh, Principal uh, Dr. Chidambara Vinayagam. Everybody, I must appreciate, and all the 173 participants who are online. Uh, I must also uh, thank uh, them for uh, being together and I will be open for questions. The question time is there and uh, please uh, put forth your questions in your chat box. I will be happy to share and uh, don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button. Subscribe button. Uh, there is no charges for uh, clicking the subscribe button. In future, any programs we do in this particular channel, it will be uh, you will actually be intimated. So. Uh, over to Dr. J. Srinivasan. Yes, sir. So thank you very much for highlighting the various uh, important aspects of online degree courses and the certificate courses as per the UGC regulation. Now we have a few questions in uh, in the chat box as well as the uh, in the WhatsApp. Now, is it possible to become mentor or teacher in online degree courses? Oh, definitely it is possible. Mm. One thing. Another one, what are all the institutions or universities which are offering online courses now? Uh, I have already mentioned you seven institutions. Uh, uh, yes. Right, uh, Last year, 2019, seven institutions have already been granted uh, recognition. I will repeat those seven institutions once again. They are, uh, uh, number one, uh, the Amity University, Noida. You can go to their website, JSS Academy of Higher Education Research, Mysuru. Manipal Academy of Higher Education, Manipal, Bharati Vidyapit, Pune, Shanmuga Arts, Science, Technology and Research Academy, Shastra, Tanjavur, Dr. D.Y. Patil uh, Vidyapit, Pune and Indira Gandhi National Open University. So these are the seven institutions. Already they have been granted under 2019. 2020, it is in the process. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So there is another question uh, by Dilip Onand. How is it possible? Uh, for rural students, this online degree courses or diploma courses, where okay. the internet connectivity is low. Yeah, that's a good question. Actually, I must say uh, I will divide this question into two parts. First part, online courses is the best for rural students because uh, number one, they can save time, they can save cost, uh, and sitting in one corner of uh, the country, they will get educated. And that is the biggest advantage of uh, online education, number one. Number two, your second part of the question is with respect to connectivity. Now, in connectivity, I said there are two aspects. One is hardware is required. Uh, despite the economic and social uh, circumstances, today government is supporting uh, by giving Madikanini, that is laptops. Uh. So number two, with respect to connectivity, left and right, uh, uh, length and breadth of the country has been connected through optical fiber cable. So 5G connectivity has already been laid. So only thing is the connectivities are enabled at certain points and connectivities are in the process of uh, laying, laying down. So it is just uh, hardly uh, another few more months of time to get connected end to end to all the, to all the parts of uh, the country. And already common service center under digital India movement, uh, common service centers has already been uh, established at nook and corner points of uh, India. So that itself is a, a well established uh, answer that connectivities are there in all the parts of the villages. So therefore, uh, it is neither a village henceforth. Only thing is they don't have the city level facilities there, but the connectivity is there. Today, what will happen is people who are educated, they are going to migrate uh, not to cities. They will migrate to villages because connectivity is there. Next question, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, what about the fee structure for online courses? Is there is any criteria for that? Actually, uh, actually, that is what I mentioned. Uh, mm. Swayam courses, 1,600 Swayam courses are there. I already gave two link also. There is no charge for it. So government of India, that is somebody said, anything you give free of cost, people, they don't understand the value of it, actually. So uh, for that meaning, whether government of India can charge any much uh, uh, 
thousands and lakhs of people no they understand the need that it should reach even the or uh, the what do you call it as uh, the last cities and the last uh, person who wants to actually learn that is why ministry of hrd they have not charged even a single rupee for learning if you want to get a certificate if you want to get a certificate they have to test you so with examination so only for the test purpose you have to pay fees and at, appear for the test and get the certificate so therefore as of today swayam doesn't charge second coming to the institutions the institutions who have been uh, approved by government of india ministry of charity for giving online education they will definitely charge this is a place where uh, there were when uh, me and uh, shrinivasan and maybe rama and ailen and all when we were students uh, we were uh, we didn't had any opportunity we have to go to the nearest point where colleges is there and whatever fees they are charging we have to pay <coughs> but the situation is not uh, same you have to actually go download what are all the contents syllabus fees structure compare that and come out with uh, the best curriculum and the fees and then you can take a, a choice out of it so students have to do all the uh, uh, homework to actually understand uh, who gives the better value for money next question sir yes sir uh, there is one person uh, mr jonu uh, how about phd program through online whether it is uh, whether is it viable for a research scholars to pass through phd without a guide what will be the criteria for the same as of now the answer for this question is negative mm. because there is no regulation for uh, doing an online phd course yes so as of today it is only online courses for degree certificate and diploma as far as research is concerned is so far uh, no concept of online is there you have to enroll maybe admission i repeat application and admission may be online but uh, your research you have to do it uh, yourself uh, and then present before the respective forum and uh, uh, prove yourself so that existing traditional model blended with uh, so uh, a little amount of technological uh, development that only will be there but not 100% uh, uh, digital uh, phd courses next question sir yeah that's all from the questions from the chat box and uh, if you have any, any other questions we'll uh, go through it now coming to the end of the session <coughs> now uh, it is a uh, final stage of our webinar today now good uh, good afternoon to the honorable chief guest respect the principal faculties and my dear students as uh, all good things comes to an end in life so is the webinar on behalf of the uh, rajeshwari vedachalam government arts college chengalpattu i take this opportunity to propose vote of thanks to those who have directly and indirectly contributed to this webinar on the topic online degree diploma certificate courses or programs as per ugc regulations 2018 organized by the pgn research department of commerce at the outset we thank our chief guest and resource person ca dr gopal krishna raju for his wonderful knowledge sharing on the contem contemporary topic sir we are we are all enriched today by the way of your speech chat box messages are evident for this we are immensely grateful to dr g edilen uh, regional joint director of college at education vellu region for his felicitation address we are thankful to our principal dr s chidambara vinayagam for his motivation and enthusiastic support in all academic activities my special thanks to dr e rama head of the department of commerce for her academic support and motivation we are thankful to the faculty members and research scholars of the department of commerce for their support and cooperation we are thankful to those who have directly and indirectly contributed their efforts to this webinar our sincere thanks to all the participant uh, across india i think one participant from philippines i i think i i, I could um, manage to get the information from the chat box across the world for their active participation and deliberations with these warm words and a kind message we move to the end of today's webinar thank you very much and uh, last uh, it is for information to the participants feedback link will be posted in the chat box 
it will be available for the next half an hour e certificates will be sent to the respective email ids gradually because every day 100 certificate will be generated and we have to wait to get the e certificate and if there is any queries we can contact me uh, to the mobile number or the whatsapp number what is given or through email so thank you very much thank you Uh, end ah, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.